Great news, guys. Uh, I was able to save up a crap ton of equipment, and uh, I was able to also save up a lot of uh, these coins right here. And because of the Aether coins, I was able to use 150 of those to get the Aldebaran small blueprints. So that means I am able to craft today? What do you want today? the Aldebaran again. And that is going to be used on my other commanders. I'm thinking about, about putting one on uh, Rogers and one on Orochi just to spread it out. And then as time goes on, I will... Uh, once uh, Rochi gets Power of Scorpio, then I'm going to add that to, uh, add the second one over to, um, uh, to, uh, Orochi. So we'll have, we will have two of them on Orochi once we get them both to level 40. Until then, they are going to be on, uh, Rogers until either they are at level 40 or we get Scorpio on uh, Orochi. Nice and easy. There we go. Confirm. Unfortunately, we had to sadly use some of our gems on that, and some of our other, uh, all the hard work that we did on that. So we don't really get anything back from that. But we get some really good stuff here, and that means we can just, you know. It's a 24-hour thingy, and then a 3-hour thingy, and then 2 hours, and then boom. So we need Hercules and Scorpio on that. What do you want, do you want today? And that will be very easy. So we need gems. Alright, first, we need to do... One of these. Out of the And then we go over what here. What do you want today? Scorpio. Huh. Why is the only accuracy? Well... This will work at least. And unfortunately, we don't have uh, anything for attack on this one, so we're just going to have to work with accuracy for now. Yeah, so we're just going to have to do that. So, now we, can add, now we can add this onto Rogers. And now you guys will see that he has two Aldebarans. And we can upgrade this for a little bit. So. And just because I don't wanna, just because I have more than enough of these, just gonna gonna add these to this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So I got used four, and then this one. So upgrade. So now, Rogers, we're going to override this, and now we have lots of health points. Uh, so 753% and 753.4% health points. So we got a lot of health points back. We got 81.2% uh, attack. So we sadly lost a solid chunk of attack, but we got a crap ton of penetration. And when you have a defense commander, penetration is huge because that will allow us to crack through the enemy defenses. And the Aldebaran is the best weapon when it comes to stuff like that. We have a decent chunk of defense. We have a little bit of accuracy. 
That's because of that little, that little gem set. We have a decent amount, amount of dodge, but not too much. Critical was meh, also because of the uh, of some of the stuff on there. Total resistance weakened effect is about 150%, which is not too shabby. That means somebody's going to need about 600 plus percent SWE to actually mess us up. Our critical weather is 402%, which is really good because that means if enemies hit us with a heavy hit of crit well, with the critical, that means we can negate 402% out of how much they ever they have. We have 45% total damage reduction, which is really really nice. I do plan to uh, to get some more gem sets on Rogers eventually, but right now we're just going to have to focus on this. And then total damage reduction, sorry, total penetration is 53.6%. And that is really good for, uh, for what we have here. And we also have 20% for, for this. But yeah, so, um, Rogers is going to be really nasty to deal with. I'm very happy about that. Orochi is already at, at all level 40 equipment. So what I think I, I, I might actually want to do is try to, you know, level up the Antares, because that's what going to be, be big and helping out, um, Rogers grow. Because right now, what, 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 what we want to do is wait for a good event that will give us good, uh, good rewards for increasing leadership in commanders. So what I think I might do is just upgrade this because we can have that and we don't really have much of anything else. Also, I was told ambition might be a good way to go when fighting. So we might have to do that. Um... We might have to use this. Just put it on there for right now. Scorpio and Leo Power. Scorpio and Leo Power. So yes, yeah, so we're just going to do this. So one, two. So now we have a little bit more health points, defense, and dodge added on there. So, Rogers is going to be a bit more powerful now, because Rogers has a, has a couple of skills. He has the, uh, the, the, the Tyrant Cometh, and that means he will be able to hit uh, after, that, after that first round that it is, uh, you know. So, like I said, it's 22% chance to trigger before next action. The Activator skips his attack, and the next attack will hit and be a critical, and the attack will inc be increased by, by 240%. The effect is not affected by other uh, skills. So since we have two Aldebarons now, that means we are going to be able to actually uh, hit pretty darn hard. And since we are using Origins, using this much for the health points is going to be big. And then... Uh, let's see, and because of because of those health points, we are using AI one, which also gives us that you know that 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 uh, that shield which can absorb damage. So that's really good as well. So we have some really good stuff underway, and I'm thinking about maybe trying to get you know Lucky Notting on uh, well either Lucky I think either Lucky Notting or Tang Lang on uh. On Rogers because uh, Tang Lang will give us a damage reduction and the penetration. So I'm thinking we we might want want to try to work on getting Tang Lang for uh, Rogers as well because even though though we though we drop some in defense we get our uh, penetration and damage reduction and that will allow us to uh, 
have a little bit more penetration. Because penetration is really fantastic for commanders like Orochi. Especially when you get more guaranteed hit abilities on him. So we have Cassiopeia's power right now, you know? This is a total damage reduction plus 10%. We have Cephas Majesty. And this will allow us to uh, stop Rian Hardens and other commanders from recovering health. And allow us to actually fight elves a little bit easier. Uh, the Hercules protection is nice because... Um, Uh, this will pretty much make it so that way the enemy can't hurt us as much. Although I might be switching out Hercules for maybe Light of Gemini. If worse comes to worse, I'm just thinking about it. And Power of Scorpio, all we just need is one more. We have some extra health points. So, Power of Scorpio is definitely a guaranteed hit ability. But we want, you know, our dear Orochi to be able to hit more, so... I think I might be, you know, removing one of these to get, you know, Light of Gemini, which is also a guaranteed hit. Well, actually, I think it's a guaranteed hit. Light of Gemini is a guaranteed hit, right? Let me just quickly double check. Okay, 20% chance to trigger before next action. There is an additional attack this turn. And all common and extra attack will hit. Extra damage would be normal damage 100%. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about maybe removing maybe Hercules protection. Uh, and, you know, changing that out for Light of Gemini. So that way he could possibly have, you know, two skills that allow him to attack. But, you know... Survivability is what's going to help him, because like I said, guys, he has the Corrosive Armor, and he also has Counter Striker, so that is going is going to hurt them and hurt them in, in the long run. But I'm not entirely quite sure how I feel about it. But yeah, guys, so we were we were able to save up a lot. Uh, you know, we got ourselves a lot of those Aether coins. I am now pretty much broke now uh, of those but we got 171,342 gold we were, were able to get you know a pair of fire spirit pants for uh, for uh, Cassius and Cassius is going to be really nice to fight against Rian Hardens and other commanders because of his skills allowing him to be able to you know uh to, uh, to get like a pretty much a crap ton of like damage reduction on this and then to get a pretty pretty solid chunk of you know uh, buffs from other enemies so this guy can be really really good if we uh, set him up right so I'm gonna be uh, be asking around to see how we can set up Cassius because he you know will be effective but we also need these to to hit so these have to hit. Which is why we have Quick Draw. So every single attack that he does is going to be a guaranteed hit. So that's going to be huge for us and allow us to be more effective. Cassius is not going to be rank S for quite a long time. So he's going to be using our tier 10 airships with now with uh, level 2. Um, stop asking, my friend. With level 2 power of airships so that means we are doing twice the amount of damage now because of that so 12 percent of all attack damage would be to all enemies if target is hit in the in, hit on the first uh in the first round so that because of that that means for five out of six rounds Cassius will not only have a guaranteed hit and hurt all six slots of the enemy but that also means that anything that the enemy uh you know, runs at us with their skills means we can copy those as well. So Cassius is kind of one of those like weird new commanders, but he has a crap ton of potential, which I'm super excited about. So what I'm going to be doing is putting uh, Orochi and Cassius 
on my top two burners. Because Sister Wolf is already doing really, really good right now, and I'm very happy with how well she's doing. But I do want to eventually get Leo Power on her. So that way she can be more set. Because like I said guys, we we, we we right now currently have Light of Gemini and Power of Scorpio. Which is really which is great. But yeah, as you guys can see, um I might have to do some switching around of stuff. But uh yeah. Uh, Light of Gemini and Power Scorpio are also guaranteed hits, and, and then uh, once we get Leo Power on her, that will allow her to use that and mess up the enemy as well. And like I said, 20% uh, chance triggered before the next action, the attack will hit and disregard target's 60% defense buffs, and it gives us total attack. So we're going to be having attack. Plus per plus thirty percent attack plus per thirty percent and health points plus thirty percent, so that is going to be really big for us. And we are using longevity. All of our troops' attack and accuracy increase by seven point eight percent until the end of the battle. Will not be cleared. So that is beautiful. And then for this guy, we are using this bad boy. Gives all enemies five AI marks. Each mark increases the damage they receive by zero point five percent. And decreases the dodge by 0.5% for, for one round. Receive energy every time a commander skill or plugin is triggered. The more energy you have, the more marks a future skill will add. And because two of our commander, but because this commander has quick draw, that means every time he's going to hit. And because these things have, a, have almost a 75% chance of being activated, that means we are going to be able to, um, that means we are going to be able to really mess up the enemy. So, we, we're going to have to work very hard on, you know, growing that commander as well. But what, I'm, what we need to do is try to get, you know, Orochi to about 700,000 by the end of the year, if not higher. Because the bigger he is, the more attacks he can take, and the more damage he can do. And, uh, yeah, he's doing a great job. But like I said, guys, right now, he doesn't have a guaranteed hit skill on him. And once we get Scorpio on him, that's going to be at least something. Unfortunately, that's going to be the only guaranteed hit, you know, he, skill he has. And really, the only thing, the thing that, 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 that we can do right now is just make him as survivable as possible. So I want to eventually get all of his equipment to level 45. But uh, right now he is doing pretty darn good, and I'm very happy with how well, how well he's doing. Yeah, total damage reduction is 52.4 percent, and then, and this is uh, it's a 52 percent, so so 62.4 percent. And, you know, as we upgrade these, that's going to go up. And uh, then, I, I think the highest you can get is 70%. But if we run, uh, let's see, what is it? If we run, uh, ooh, Dawn gives you a nice penetration. That's pretty nice. If we run the Aegeus, uh, that will give us... 70% damage reduction, which is pretty darn good. So, we can definitely work that into our effectiveness as a defense commander. And I need to be able to fight the enemy on all fronts. So, we're going to have two walker commanders, which will be able to use the tier 10 airship that's serious and that is also equipped with level 2 uh, power of airships so even though they, they're going to be small they're going to be able to hit a lot harder and even though they aren't rank S the power of airships will be able to grant them you know considerable amount of damage because it's always a guaranteed hit it is they aren't tier 12 which is very unfortunate <clears throat> 
but when you're fighting against other commanders using anything tier 11 or less, you can still do a lot of damage. And they've even won battles against people using tier 12, so we are on a really good, you know, good run right now with our stuff. We got rid of, our, of two of our, um, uh, two of our roses and two of our, uh, of our uh, assault shields and uh, six uh, eternal barriers, but we got two Aldebarons because of that. And we don't really need any more Aldebarons because the health points is, um, is what's going to help us out, out the most. And be like I said, because Rogers will have that extra you know, have that extra skill, Scorpio and uh, Tyrant Cometh, I believe. Uh, yeah, that will be able to allow him to mess up the enemy more. Because the, the, uh, the Origins have that tear space. So we have stuff working for us in the long run. And uh, like I said, once we get, you know, Scorpio on, you know, on these, and then, you know, onto Orochi, we are going to be set. So Cephas, Cassiopeia, and Hercules. So so Cassiopeia power. So we have three out of four. Scorpio, Scorpio, and Scorpio. That's great for us. So we just need one more Scorpio on this and we are gonna be set. And I'm trying to get trying to get that Scorpio maybe on one of these, so that way we can have a third slot activated, because we want to be able to uh, keep his other skills. I'm going to screenshot a couple of these, so that way I can show my friend Sir Allington and a couple other people and see what they think, because uh, yeah, now, like it is, guys. I am nowhere near the best player on, on, on this game. But I do definitely try my best and work my hardest to make my stuff effective. So I do definitely want to try my best to, you know, to do a good job. So please, you know, if you guys have any insight on how I can do better, please let me know because I do want to do better and I want to be as effective as possible. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, watch watch what happens with, with uh, Rogers when I click the X on Sister Wolf. Click. Uh, automatically switches over. So now, our commanders are doing much, much better. And then we can sign up and just see how they do. I definitely, definitely do believe that Rogers is going to do a lot more damage to the enemy. And uh, once we get him big enough, he's really going to mess people up. And that health points is going to, going to, going to, going to help, uh, help us out once we get the Cyan Shuttle. I'm really, really trying to work hard to get that. We are about two-thirds of the way. We need, uh, I think, 90,000, or is it 70,000? It's either 90 or 70,000 to get, you know, uh... Don't the, stop uh, asking, my friend. To get Tier 10 hyperspace airship. Okay, so 70,000. So... So, yeah, so we are... 4 to 5, 5 to 6, wait a 4 to 5, 5 to 6, so 25,000 away from being able to finally get this underway. So I'm super excited about this. I have a decent chunk of resources ready to go. And uh, that means all of, all of our advanced airships, including the Sirius, because they are, they are an advanced airship, are going to get a massive boost in, in abilities. So... Yeah, and then that means we are going to be at the best we can possibly be for our stuff. Then we can we can work on defense and dodge with the uh, uh, 
unlimited crystals, and then work our way toward, toward getting the cyan shuttle. But remember, guys, that is 90,000... 90,000 uh, hyperspace crystals, which sucks. So I'm thinking maybe at the start of 2024... Hopefully, I will be able to get that. Unless the game developers pull a fast one on us and add something new that's even better and I have to work my way toward. By God's grace, they won't. But, you know, they always have a way of making stuff even more frustrating to deal with. But they also do a good job at adding some new fun stuff. And, you know, so you just, you just gotta, gotta know how to play the system. Anyway, guys, you know, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, you know... You know, uh, please, you know, uh, you know, uh, like, share, and subscribe, guys, because, you know, the liking and the sharing and the subscribing gets all my stuff up there. And when we get to a thousand, a thousand subscribers, guys, we can really do a lot of good stuff and start making some money on the side. And I'm really excited for that. Holy crap, this video has been 25 minutes. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, you know, please, uh, you know, share my stuff around so that way more people can enjoy my videos. Uh, but yeah, this has been Sabine Dimitrov, a.k.a. Agents for the Astro Wolf. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys stay awesome, and always remember, God bless.